Hey guys, today I'm going to be doing a quick review of the LEGO City Fire Station. This is set number 60215. It was released in 2019, comes in at 509 pieces and it's a 5 plus set. Now one thing about this set that's very exciting is it reintroduces the old light and sound functionality. For those of you that don't know, during the 1980s, 1990s we had some really really cool sets which were light and sound sets. You press the button, they made a noise, they hit, you know, it was good fun. They were slightly uh, bigger units then you'll see here the light and sound is actually just this blue bit here but if you look at those old sets it was a bit more than that so it's really really good and exciting to see that return to lego very happy about that one we'll talk about that in a minute so i really like this set i bought this set because i wanted a fire station i wanted you know to have that fire ability and it came with all the had all the right ingredients for me it had you know it's not too big of a footprint comes with this really nice looking fire truck over here which I'll show you in some more detail in a second we we'll get it out of the garage you've got a, a good size garage there you've got these awesome red support pieces I love those you've got the fire tower here you've got a jet scheme this fire station is equipped to handle a lot of situations in a city it's even got a drone up here for inspecting what's going on with a camera and <laughs> Again, there's heaps of playability there. I like the fact they've gone with a drone rather than a helicopter for a change. It's it's kind of refreshing seeing Lego make those changes. You get four minifigures in here as well and a dog and a good selection of pieces. I'm intrigued by this big axe you get as well. Let's uh, see if that'll focus. That's a pretty serious axe they've given us in this set. It's not going to focus. Let's see. The same for there we go. I learned that trick from uh, Greg at Bricky Tech the other day. He was having trouble focusing and he did that with his camera and it did the trick. It's not ideal, but it works anyway. So that's the makeup of the set. Now, this is kind of modular again, everything clips together. I had high hopes that Lego would adopt the same approach they did with the hospital, the 60204 hospital, where everything was like a creator set and you built it up. But this is a much smaller, much cheaper set than that one. The hospital, I believe, was a $120 set, I think it was. And this one's a, a $100. Actually, no, it was a $150 set. And this one's a, a $100 set. If you go on the Australian RRP, obviously that's Australian dollars, not US dollars, which is very different to our pricing. Not a bad set. You get a lot of stuff in it. There's a lot to do. This was, it wasn't a hard build for, for me as an adult building it, but... Um, had a few challenges. I love I love having these shutters. I will say up front, I never had any sets growing up that had a garage door in it. I always wanted a garage door. Now I've got a couple of sets with a garage door in it. Very happy. <laughs> I'm easily pleased when it comes to things from my childhood that I missed. Light and sound, I never had that as a kid either. So yeah, let's be, uh, let's be up front and say that. Okay, now first of all, I'm going to show you around the actual tower and the fire station itself and then I'll go into the individual builds. Apologize for my turntable, I had an argument with a spray can recently, nothing to do with me. I will be replacing this very soon. Looking around the set, we'll start on this side here, I've left the dog on there. We've got one of the uh, jaws of life slash angle grinder type things there. We've got one of those axes I mentioned just now which is kind of cool, I've never seen it. It's quite serious for a, for a Lego set to have an axe like that. So. Obviously Lego is taking fire safety quite seriously. Now living in Australia, that's very important. Axes are important for helping with things like getting trees out of the way and stuff like that when there's um, things going on. Those of you who don't know what's going on in Australia at the moment, go and check the news. You've got this helipad on the top here. Now that's actually, uh, intriguingly, that's a bigger helipad than you get for most helicopters just for this tiny drone. In fact, that drone is on reflection quite big compared to most of the uh, minifigures. So uh, um, that actually uh, conceivably could be a water bombing <laughs> drone. Anyway, we'll come back to that one in a minute. You've got some steps leading up here. You've got the sliding garage door, beautifully smooth. Look at that, just slides effortlessly up and down. Beautifully done. You've got the pier over here with a couple of mooring points for the jet ski. You've got the life ring here. We've got the announcement system there. We've got these spotlights all over the set as well. 
So everything's well lit out the front, so you know they can operate any time they like. And you can see again, we've got a bit of the sort of modular over here. So the idea being, you can detach this pier and put it over here. You can lay it out differently. You can see Lego's put various anchor points on here to make it that you can do it however you want, really. You can even move the tower around if you want to and put that somewhere else. So again, on the end here, more anchor points. So it's good that they're kind of taking this modular approach to things where you can build it out. There's not too many stickers on this set. We've got the one up here actually on the building and then there's a couple more on the car, but that's really it for the stickers, which is good. We've got some very nice pieces here. We've got a clock inside. We've got, I find it quite fascinating. We've got the movie floor here. Let's just see what are the, what are the firefighters watching? They're watching the firefighter movie with the emergency lights above it. They've got their popcorn at the ready in there. We've got the watchtower up the top here with a rotating seat and we can see there's an emergency on the screen there so they must be going out soon. And then down on the bottom, we've got the Ghostbusters hotline, I mean the fire service hotline. <laughs> we got one! Not a lot else to see around the back but you can see into it. And I like the fact that Lego's put a bit of thought into actually not just having your standard kind of couple of empty floors. They've actually gone out of their way to fill these floors, which is brilliant in my books. I love that. And then just around the back here, again, not a lot to see. Got a few antennas on the roof up there. And then we're back around to where we began. Now the fire truck. This was a good build. A lot went into this. I like the fact they've got the little details like this side steps. We've got mirrors. We've got a full on bull bar at the front. And light and sound on the top. We'll talk about the light and sound in a minute. Going round, I like how it puts how it's put together. It's a, a well proportioned build, I think personally. I think it's very well laid out. There was, it was a nice build. It didn't feel at all repetitive. Went together well. We've got that fire hose system there that goes round. We've got the axe on the side there, and the driver inside. There's not a lot to write home about inside other than there's a, a steering wheel. You've got a couple of doors here, uh, storage areas here. In this side, we've got some cones. And then the other side, you're just meant to put some studs in there for the fire extinguisher here. Just, it's a stud shooter. We know how that works. There's a little bit of space behind the driver there as well. If you wanted to use that one, let's just have a look in there. So yeah, there's a, a tiny, tiny bit of space behind him, but not a huge amount to write home about. But you can definitely put something in there if you want to. It would have been good to use that space a little bit better, but we've got Fireman Sam in there, or whatever his name is. They don't actually give you names on these figures, so let's call him Fireman Sam, just because that's a fun show. Now, the elephant in the room here is the light and sound, which I really did want to show you. Now, in an ideal world, you press this button on the top here and the lights come on and it makes a sound and they alternate and flash. In my case, nothing. It's not working. That's fresh out of the packet. It shouldn't need a fresh battery. It's supposed to have a battery in it ready. I'm either this is broken or there's something wrong with the battery. So I will change the battery and find out what's supposed to happen. But what's supposed to happen is you press that and it stays on and that's it. And it's meant to make sound. I'm a bit sad about that one, I really am. Um, that's one of the first times something's been broken in one of my Lego sets when I've got it. So I will be emailing Lego to get that one fixed. I really did want to show you that one. Imagine it works, it'll be awesome. A lot of fun. I did look online at a few others to see how it's supposed to sound and look, and yeah, that's not how it's supposed to sound and look. So I'll come back to you when that's working. Next up, a little jet ski. Not a lot to write home about this one. It's a nice little put together jet ski. It's kind of unusual in the way they've done it. You've got again another stud shooter on the front there. You've got the little outputs on the back. It's fun, nice little figure there. Fairly standard kind of jet ski model that Lego's been making for years. Just, you know, slightly different shaping. It's quite aerodynamic. I, I like it. It looks like it go quite fast. So, But yeah, again, not lots to write home about. It's a surprising number of parts went into it though. And I will say, um, I do like this yellow they've used. It's kind of like a a kind of milky yellow if this is probably the way I would describe it. I like it. It's probably not the technical name, but milky yellow is what I'll go with. It's not as bold as normal. You can see the yellow of the minifigure there versus the yellow over here, which is really cool. I'll put some pictures up on my Instagram to show you the kind of difference in the yellow though. Here we have the drone. There's not a huge amount to write home about about this. It's a fairly simple little build. 
repetitive all four sides are exactly the same with the camera underneath the one thing I would like to have seen is the camera move up and down but I'm not sure you know it would have probably added quite a lot of bulk to what is already a substantial size drone that drone could conceivably pick a person up quite easily I like the fact we've got a drone instead of a helicopter it makes a nice change I, I was slightly skeptical but having built it and looked at it in the set I think it actually really adds a lot to it so kudos to Lego for that Last of the additional builds is this little test fire. Got a stack of papers and a burning bin for the firefighters to come in. The idea being their stud shooters come along and, pew, and knock the fire out and there it's gone. Pew, imagine that was done by my well-aimed stud shooter on here. But yeah, but that's it. But again, nice, like I like the very simple build, but I like how, you know, the, it's got the fence behind it. They've They've made the effort to not just put a bin and a pack of paper there, they've actually gone and put a fence behind it as well. I think it's really like the character of that one and I love the use of, of these in that way to kind of make that effect, especially on the bin. It works really, really well. I think that's a really good design decision and a good what use of the kind of modularity of, of Lego pieces there. So round the back, absolutely nothing to write home about there because this is obviously for the firefighters to be practicing with. In terms of the minifigures you get, here they are, and they are all very, very well printed, I think. They all have lots of little features that are really cool. I like this firefighter's got a pressure gauge on there for his emergency equipment. He's got quick release on everything. It looks like he might have a parachute there, actually. <laughs> Things like that. These ones have got their walkie-talkies ready. This is obviously the fire chief with his fancy gold helmet, and we've got the one with the... I don't know if this is new for 2019 or not. I'll have to check that one. But that life preserver there, I think, is... Uh, I've not seen it done in that style before, which I really like. I think it's really cool. In terms of faces, these are all single-side prints. I, I do like the cleanness of this one. He's kind of very old-school Lego minifigure. I wonder if that is a nod to kind of the old-school Lego city sets, perhaps, that used to have all these firefighters and things in it. And, yeah, again, very good, very well printed. The... Around the back here, oh, I do like the fact she's got a walkie, a radio control for the for the drone as well. It's a nice little put together piece. It's a flat tile with the printed controls on. Um, that's a sticker, unfortunately, and it's just attached to a walkie-talkie piece. Around the back, the printing does continue. Now, none of these figures have a second face, but the actual quality of the prints around the back carries on. Again, more details. They've got their little utility things. They've got some looks like packs there with again something for their walkie talkies he's got the clip on there for probably being attached to a safety harness and stuff like that and then the one who's going to be in the water there just has the fire logo on the back and again this headpiece with the ponytail we've seen in a few sets so a nice selection of minifigures four of them like i said so you can probably tell from the way i was talking about this set i it did really enjoy it. I, I like a lot about this. It's got a good selection of minifigures. The play features in this, I think, are a lot of fun. This is a very good example of a Lego City set to me. It's got the right balance of playability, buildability. There's so many things going on with this, and I think any kid that plays with this will have great, great fun with it. Any adult who plays with this, like myself, will have great, great fun with it. The, the truck here is awesome. We've got a fun little jet ski. The fire feature over here is excellent. The drone is immense fun, I think. I think there's got a lot to be done there. I love how this is done with the controller here. The whole thing is great with the movie playing there and the way the tower is actually set up and laid out. I did have, I was a little bit skeptical going into this set, but I think having built it, it has exceeded what I was expecting. In terms of value, here in Australia, this was a $100 set or $99 set. Most shops I've seen have been selling it for between $70 and $80, which is you know, a much more realistic price in my books for this set based on how other shops sell it. I think you get a lot for that $80. Uh, the $100, I'm, I'm, I'm on the fence about whether or not it's worth that much, but you make your call on that one. You do get a lot of parts in it. You get this lovely red columns as well, which you don't see very often. There's a lot of parts in here as well, and light and sound is obviously great if it works. So I'll be contacting Lego about getting that one replaced. Let me know what you think in the comments. Is this a set you've seen or you've been interested in? Are you now sort of thinking, oh, I could get that one? I'm not sure. Oh, I disagree, Greg. I think it's rubbish or it's brilliant. It's the best set. I've got it in my city, perfect. 
Don't forget to give this video a like and hit subscribe if you're new here. I do post regularly. And uh, if you feel like sharing it, please do. The more you share it, the more people will find my channel. Now, don't forget to go and look for my other channels online. I've got a list here that you can see on the screen coming up now. Go and check out those channels as well. I do post different content on the various locations. Now, here's a couple more videos I think you will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon.